foam kit is for our 1970 and 1971 A and E body models. And you'll notice this preformed foam kit has a headrest cap that you'll need to glue to the back side of our headrest area. And to glue that, you'll need to get some general spray trim adhesive found at your local auto parts store. Now to secure this foam to the seat springs, we cut our 10 inch by 14 inch muslin squares and we glue them to the backside lower area of the headrest along our sides and along our bottom edge on our front seat tops and along our front seat bottoms we do the front edge, the sides and the back. And what that will allow us to do is to secure the foam to the seat springs to make it much easier for your seat installation. We'll first need to lay our muslin flat on table and draw out eight rectangles approximately 10 inches by 14 inches along with two strips about the width and length of a ruler and we'll explain later in the video what these pieces are used for. We will next need to cut out our eight rectangles and two strips. Before gluing, we want to make sure that we have two strips and eight of the rectangles that we discussed previously. On our front seat top, we will first need to glue the headrest cap area. We generously coat both sides, the headrest cap and the base foam area and we want to glue those together creating a little pocket that we can slide our foam over the top of our seat frame. When attaching the two pieces together you want to start at one edge or one of the corners and carefully place the two edges together. You want to take your time doing this because it's real important not to leave a ridge because that ridge will be visible through your new upholstery if you're not careful lining it up. Now the lower portions of the headrest have a little tab that will need to be folded over and attached to that headrest cap area as well. We'll want to repeat the process on the opposite side. On our front seat top along the headrest cap area, the seam that we discussed earlier, the little ridge created by gluing those two pieces of foam together, will need to be covered up. We do this with the thin strip of muslin that we cut earlier. And we spray both sides, the muslin side and the foam side. And we just cover up that area along that ridge and smooth it out real nice. That way when you install your seat cover, we won't be able to see that ridge. Now we'll need to repeat the process on the lower portion of the headrest where the seams are glued together as well. You apply your muslin strips the same way you did on the headrest area cap. And get it as tight as possible and make sure there are no seams visible. Again, keep in mind we'll need to spray both sides, the foam side and the muslin side, before we attach our muslin rectangles. You want to attach your muslin rectangles to the lower portion of the front seat top headrest area. along the bottom edge and then lastly along the side edges.
Moving on to our front seat bottom, we want to glue our muslin rectangles on the side edges, the front edge, and the back edge. This will help secure our front seat bottom foam to our front seat bottom seat springs so our foam does not move around during our seat installations. As you can see, our muslin rectangles are glued to our outside perimeter of our front seat top and our front seat bottoms. If you have any questions on preparing your seat foam or you'd prefer to have the professionals at Legendary Auto Interiors prepare your seat foam and install your seat upholstery, give us a call at 1-800-363-8804 or visit our website at www.legendaryautointeriors.com. We hope this video has been very helpful for you. We'd like to thank all the people at Legendary Auto Interiors for making this possible. And we'd like to thank all of our sponsors. And most of all, we'd like to thank you. I'm Ron Halberter for Legendary Auto Interiors. We'll see you next time.